Adam, they are. It's part of a wave of changes coming to the Washington football field amidst allegations of sexual harassment and misconduct, including a settlement between former cheerleaders in the team, as well as the NFL's investigation into the team. Now the team is going in the direction of eliminating the cheerleading team altogether and will instead have a dance team. 33 year NBA executive Petra Pope is being tasked with creating what the team is calling a first of its kind dance program that will include both men and women. An end to the era of the first ladies of football. Pope says it's going to be completely different than the cheerleading team and is all about moving forward. Take a listen. And they have a fantastic vision. They've undergone significant changes and their vision is to create a more modern franchise a more, you know, something that's reimagined, reinvented. And I have great confidence that um, that that's what they're going to do. Also tonight, we're hearing from the cheerleaders who were told last month the team was on pause. A short time ago, former cheerleader Julia Camacho talked with our sports director, Darren Haynes. She says she won't be trying out for the franchise's new team. I... I don't trust the organization. I'll be straightforward with that. I don't trust the organization. Um, for me, the principle outweighs um, just wanting to dance on the field. I, I think that it's setting the example of I'm willing to be treated a certain way and go back to this environment. Um, and I just, I don't think that's right. And I can't, I can't do that to myself. We will have more of her interview coming up at 7 on the q and I'm live at FedEx Field, Colby Satterfield, WUSA 9. Yeah, lots to talk about there for sure. Thank you.